Warning, warning, Spider-Man. <laughs> Prepare to die. Hello. Welcome back to Discovering SCP. It's been a while, hasn't it? Seven whole days since we last saw each other. <laughs> Tan. Tan. Yeah? Tan, listen to me. I So we're in the back... I'm in the back of a car that you're driving right now, right? Of course, of course, yes. I've got Michael's body. I've been examining it. You're not going to believe this. What is it? Look, I show you like a piece of his body I've cut off. It just looks like a normal piece of body. <laughs> yeah, a piece of body, yeah. No, look closer. Uh, I put a comically cartoonish magnifying glass in front of it. It's a GameStop share. GameStop G-S. share. GS. What does this mean? GME. Well, everyone actually. knows that his whole body stock is worthless. What's going on no. here? No. <laughs> look at this. It must be the work of an anomaly. I show you my phone. Wow. That's your wallpaper. That's kind of gay, bro. Tan, if we deliver Michael's body, which is made up entirely of GameStop shares, to the New York Stock Exchange before Friday, we will be billionaires. That's how we it works. We can buy the foundation. It's exactly how it works. Oh my god. Well, I, we I'm have to drive deliver this there. body to New York. Hold on. You'll drive I'm there? Swerve. I've, that was a sick U turn. Too bad you couldn't <laughs> see it, listener, as you're wearing a blindfold. <laughs> canon reason why there's no visuals for the podcast because everyone who listens is blindfolded that that's the special containment procedure for the foundation trying to catch us they all have to wear fucking blindfolds if you stare upon the discovering scp visuals you will not live you could not comprehend yeah yeah you could not comprehend tan Honey's ethereal form the the picture on the channel is merely a very rough estimation and artistic depiction so you have an idea but it is not the reality. <laughs> so, Tanhony, in order to boost our speed to get to the New York Stock uh, yes, Exchange that, faster, the car still how, many the SCPs, same way. how many SCPs do we have today? Hold on. I, I got these from a very special source, my good friend. And there's one, mm-hmm. two, three, four of them. This will give us quite the speed boost. Oh, four whole SCPs. Boy, I can't wait. Four SCPs, four letters for my good friend. And here's our first SCP, 3902. And, it, and it's called Anomaly Class Bar by Dedo, by Lanius. Wait, another Dado SCP? My good friend, didn't I tell you? Yeah. He's invested heavily in GameStop. <laughs> no, <laughs> it can't be. He's the one behind this? Dado, very good. You trust Dado. <laughs> you trust Dado. Dado makes stock market work for you. Uh, this was written by Lanius, you said, yes. Yes, right, yes. Awesome. Let's get into all it. Alright, and it doesn't seem to have much edits. It's like all Lanius with like two other guys like changing minor things. I see, I see. LG Fish Truck is weird because I see his name everywhere and I think I've seen him talk like one time in our server, but I don't know who he is. But he's on like every fucking article. He's edited it. <laughs> Let's get into it. Is it like a bot? No. Oh, okay. I, th- I can't believe you called LG Fish Truck a bot. How rude. I, I don't know who they are. I just see them I'm edit like every fucking page, and it's tomorrow. always like a mechanical edit. <laughs> Is this serious? I didn't mean to offend. I was just asking. Let's move past this before it becomes an incident. What have you done? Okay. <laughs> Item number. I don't. I can't three. tell if you're being serious or not because I never fucking we, know. We've got to move on. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm putting the paper in the fucking fuel slot. Now read it. No, we need to, I need to read it, please. <laughs> I know, I can't put it in until you finished reading it. Containment Here, class. read it through the rear view mirror. Containment class, FAS. <laughs> Disruption class, DART. All right. Risk class, caution. Are you cautious? Okay, so this is like a really simple SCP. Special containment procedures. Uh, all SCP-3902 instances are replaced in standard food refrigerated storage. The respective site director has been notified of the manifestation of SCP-3902 in Foundation sites. What the fuck? Look at the on the right the digital recreation. The <laughs> Why did he copy the formula but make it dumb? What do you mean it's dumb? <laughs> Look it's at that, it. It's good. Yummy class, very much. By class, dedo. No risk, yes. Level your eating hole. Description. 
The SCP is a nut and chocolate nutrition bar, with packaging resembling an edited version of the Anomaly Classification System. This packaging advertises the SCP as Anomaly Class Bar, created by the para-entrepreneur Dad Dado. 30 minutes after the SCP is fully consumed, the subject will expel a piece of paper from their mouth. Da -da 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 -da. Other or orifices have been recorded. Listing no! several statements about the subject, each in a format resembling... I don't like SCP that it didn't just say... I don't like that it just said didn't just say but. I don't like other orifices. Why not? What's wrong with him? Because that implies many things that well, I don't like. There's only, there's only so many options. <laughs> Resembling SCP Foundation object class designation. Statements recorded are universally correct and or will be correct. Once an, in, in a, an individual has read the paper fully, several bones, organs, or objects of monetary value present on the subject will disappear. These disappearances are described in the expelled paper. Discovery. The SCP was discovered after spontaneously replacing Skittles in all Foundation vending machines on 8-22-19. <laughs> Along with oh this, a box God. of 100 SCP-3902 instances were recovered under the desk of Site-81 Director. So, so hold on. You, you spit out the paper, it tells you something about yourself, and that thing becomes true or was already true? It will be, either is true now or will be true at some point. So it's like a weird, like... The accurate fortune cookie thing? I guess. So along with this, a box of 100 SCP instances was recovered under the desk of Site-81 director Jean Carlyle Actus, alongside the following note. Oh, Why don't you tell us what it says? It, isn't, that, isn't that DJ Cactus? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Blue Jeans. Hello, yes. I really like the new object glass bar. This was Link, but that do print paper, and now it is broke. You have made it is very good. Gary Ramster told me all about it. Very many lines and words, which is good. Now, Dado was wondering if we can capitalize on notoriety of it, yes? Franchise system and make into a normally class plushie, a normally class car. That's what we're driving, right? Yeah. By Dado. A normally class ladle, many more ideas. Dado make the health bar as proof of concept. Dado will take payment for people what eat the bar, so no worry about cost for you. I need more French to franchise, so please get to me soon for the talking of business. Sincerely, Dato. SCP instances were then confiscated and placed into current containment procedures. By what? Putting them in the fucking fridge? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> what a containment procedure. Attendum. Addendum. Test log. The sub first subject is researcher Ronald Kaya. Why don't you tell us what happened, Dato? Why wouldn't they make a D-class eat this shit first? Why don't you tell us about it, Dado? Dado. Do I read it in the Dado voice? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Subject, researcher Ronald Gaia. Item number 7203192394. Object class, Euclid. Distortion class, not very. Risk class, as not gambled. Organ width, varied. Likelihood to eat an entire shoe, moderate. Phone class, iPhone Air. Amount of time touched hot stove, 13. Average longevity of skin cells, 2 week. Marriage class, affair. Oh, no. <laughs> affair. Closing statement. Researcher Kaya well, that, that, immediately That's, that's the longer that time. Oh. Closing Wait. statement. Researcher Kaya immediately attempted to call his wife, only to find that his cell phone had disappeared. No! <laughs> Dead away. Second subject, <laughs> D2473. Tell us about it. Oh, should I read this again? Item number. Hashtag, I committed three murders. Object class, biology. Ritz class, has not eaten the Ritz cracker. Aesthetic class, vaporwave. Organ width, does not own fancy piano, and also not kidney. Special kidney. contraction procedures. Can't, oh sorry, kidney. Kindy. Can't isn't, wasn't, won't, ain't. Cellmate, right now, probably. Death class, precisely 8 23 19 12 30 or 2 from extreme internal bleeding. Closing statement. They expired from internal bleeding, resulting from the removal of the left kidney. It's true. <laughs> how, did, how did he know? Oh, this last one looks like it was written by fucking bread. Subject D4573. Tell us about it. Item number, zero bones, object class, no bones, bone class, none, 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 shoe size, seven, bone class, none, bone class, none, bone class, none, bone class, none, bone class, none. 
Closing statement. The D-Class was terminated four minutes after finishing the note and subsequently scraped off the floor. Janitorial staff were then anesthetized due to concerns of mental trauma. <laughs> that Why don't people day, use amnestics? Why doesn't the foundation develop amnestics publicly for like people with PTSD? Because you gotta keep it to yourself. Yeah, you gotta use it to store the fucking slime. <laughs> the plebs don't understand what's required. That was really funny. I really like Dado. I know there's a bunch of people who have been on SCP forever who are like, oh, there's too many Dado. Well, they're boring. This was funny. I liked it. Lanius, good job. Uh, 8.5 out of 10. Thank you. Oh, so much fast. So much speed. <laughs> Whoa. Quick, the next paper. What is it? The second one is SCP-3238, and this one is called simply Dado Juice. For a second, I thought you were reading that in your fucking, uh, <laughs> your hero voice from Mamori. <laughs> and it's by Dr. Connors. No, this is because there's so much wind on me, because we're going so fast. Ah! Dr. Connors is the writer, okay. Just like the lizard from so... Spider-Man! <laughs> Alright, I'm slowing down the car. <laughs> Wait, no, Ooh. we must go faster. We just Why did we go, to go faster if we're going to slow down again? The human body can only go that speed for so long, hence why we're doing this four times. I see, I see, of course, of Obviously. course. Obviously. Let's get into it. Item number, mm -hmm. SCP-3238. Oh, wait, class. wait, wait, fuck, hang on. Sorry, 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 I forgot to upvote the last one. Okay, I'm good now. How could you? Object class, scythe. That's not a good save for procedures. <laughs> As I'm trying to drink fucking water. What the hell? Like trying to make me drink I did, I did every water. variant at once there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you just had a fucking mini stroke. <laughs> SCP-3238 is beacon near Site-19 in a standard anomalous object container. Foundation of web crawlers will scan all portions of the web for the phrases Dado Juice and Dado Juice Energy Drink. Upon is it Dado of... or Dado? I don't know. I, I, I Which one do you like? I think phonetically, if you follow English language rules, which change every other second, it would be Dado, but I think Dado sounds better. Dado, okay, we're going to call him Dado from now on. Upon detection of either phrase, MTF Alpha 4, Pony Express, is to be deployed with the primary <laughs> mission of containment of the SCP. Secondary mission protocols are to detain person of interest Dado for foundation questioning. Testing of, at the SCP is suspended at this time. What is In this, like, monster energy drink for fucking the foundation? <laughs> In the instance of an active incident involving the SCP, all civilian personnel to be evacuated from the affected area. All survivors, witnesses, and emergency responders to an SCP incident are to be administered Class C amnestics and undergo false memory implantation. Hey, hey, Tan, that uh, the picture that's yeah. on the article, the one on the right, that looks like what I uh, what I just drank a second ago was lying here in the back of the car. <laughs> It'd be fine, of right? Of course. Well, let me just pour some of that into okay. the, the gas pump. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Thank you for feeding me, uh, it's... <laughs> The car has a personality. Yes. It's SCP-1029. Alright, in, in the inevitable movie, what actor plays the car? Vin Diesel. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's get into it. Let's get into it. <laughs> description. Yeah, description. The the SCP is a collection of 132 aluminum canisters, each containing 236 milliliters of an unknown anomalous fluid. Each canister has the words Dado Juice written in black marker. Would you like some Dado Juice? Would you like to sip? Uh, I already had some. I'm full. Thank you. Of course. There are three variations. You're full of it. You had so many cans. There are three variations. The the... Yeah. <laughs> there are three variations of the SCP, each denoted by a different image. Also crudely drawn on the aluminum container in black marker. Fire, an international radiation symbol, and a sphere with trailing motion lines. The sphere with trailing motion lines is the one I drink. Nice. The fluid itself is iridescent in red in colour and displays the same viscosity as water. When the SCP is ingested by a human subject, one of three anomalous effects will occur to the subject in relation to the symbol on the canister shown on Table 1A. Why don't you tell us about these effects? Sure. Table 1A, anomalous effects of SCP-3238. Fire. Subject core body temperature begins to rise rapidly within 60 seconds following ingestion. After two minutes, subject's body begins starts rapidly releasing oxydicyanoacetylene gas. Sorry, it's really hard to read fucking organic chem words. 
as if pressurized. The gas will then spontaneously ignite, burning at around 4,990 degrees Celsius in a one meter radius around the subject. As the gas contains both fuel and oxidizer, it is proven extremely difficult to extinguish the resultant fire, even if completely submerged in water. The resultant cadaver continues to emit oxydicyanoacetylene gas and burn for up to five days. Radioactive. Subject begins to sweat excessively within 60 seconds of ingestion. Within three minutes, subject begins to emit electromagnetic radiation in the form of gamma rays, measured in excess of 800 rotogens per minute. The subject will succumb to this exposure within no more than five minutes, displaying all symptoms of acute radiation poisoning. Other living beings within a radius of 20 meters of the subject may absorb a lethal dosage of gamma rays within minutes. Within a radius of up to 100 meters, other living beings may absorb lesser amounts of radiation, dependent upon range and time of exposure. The cadaver may emit fading amounts of radiation for up to five days. So, I'm glad I didn't drink the first two. Let's see what the one I had was. Yeah, you, I hope motion. you drank the good one. Yeah. Subject begins to become excessively nervous and jittery within 60 seconds of ingestion. Within two minutes, Just subject like begins accelerating rapidly upwards, reaching a velocity of 11.186 kilometers per second within 30 seconds. Ah, the ceiling! It hurts! Don't subject worry. Subject will experience will forces hold. in excess of 50 G during the course of this acceleration. I'll keep you on Any the ground, objects brother. impacted by subject will not stop or alter the course or speed of the subject. Oh, I'm so nice. sorry. The car is going straight up right now. The outcome of any such collision is both the immediate liquefaction of the subject and no, severe damage or destruction to the object. Ten, subject will nine, escape Earth orbit eight, and continue to accelerate seven, away from Earth at a speed of around 11.186 kilometers per second. I don't four, want to fucking die! Three, no, quick, drink no. Dado Antidadote. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need that extra sound um, effect. <laughs> that was me releasing all the all the energy tree. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Brap. <laughs> I'm um, twelve. <laughs> nine instances of the SCP were discovered following a suspected terrorist attack on the Darnell Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. No, that's 18. my casino! <laughs> what the fuck? The remains are recovered from the North Las Vegas Amazon Fulfillment Center. Addendum. That's fucked up. IRC logs recovered 06, 17, uh, 18. Yeah, yeah don't mention on. Amazon on, when that... I'm trying to record a podcast. Sorry, this is fake. No one uses IRC in 2018. No one even uses IRC now. I re download it for memories. No one's fucking on IRC except boring people. The SAP uh, has an official IRC that's very active. You've alienated all our viewers. Oh, sorry, I didn't know that. You fool. We have zero views now. What have yeah, you done? It do be that way. The shooting out the tires because of you. Well, like back in the day on IRC, you could like hop in a server and just like role play without like having to go through eight billion forms like you do today everywhere. And there's what no did you like role play as? Uh, there was this place I used to be on with Bleach? UE where it was like what? No, Bleach? not Bleach. Did you make I never your own watched Bankai? Bleach actually. You I never got it? past like episode forty of Bleach. I don't know. I I've can't never watch seen a single episode. Like I don't know why I said Bleach. <laughs> but uh, there was a place I used to roleplay there did no, you like to roleplay as like pain from Naruto OC I never got that far in Naruto either Look, I, usually I can't also get never watched an episode of Naruto anime. I mean I've watched episodes of Naruto I just never get past like episode 50 that's, like the, that's very, as as I, I know it's very strange because you can say that and it's like oh so you weren't into it but <laughs> it implies you almost got to episode 50 <laughs> Yeah, I did get to episode 50. I got to like 52. Actually, no, I got to like 75, but I Hold skipped on. the filler. So it was like 50 episodes. Okay. Like with a British TV show, that would make you like an expert though. Because you'd have watched like twice. Yeah, but that's because British TV are. shows can't publish more than three episodes without giving up because they don't have any jokes. <laughs> um, so that was the last episode of Discovering SCP. <laughs> it's true. You work for British Telecom. People get so mad about shows that barely even exist. Huh? What are you talking There's about? There's only like six episodes for any British TV show, and people get so upset when they can't watch I don't watch think them. you know what British Telecom does, but anyway, let's move what on. Do they do? We're not... What's <laughs> Briti is the British that. Telecom not TV? What is it? I thought you said it was TV. You said people were getting mad at you about TV. Who cares? Let's, let's stop airing my life in discovering SCP format. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. Yeah, I IRC really. logs. Recovered 06-17-18. Foundation agents recovered a laptop from the 06-1418 Las Vegas incident. 
the laptop was unusable, unusual, unusual, <laughs> both unusual, unusual. and unusable. <laughs> but the hard yeah. drive was recovered using forensic software. Enhance. On the hard drive, Foundation technical <laughs> staff found IRC logs of evidence pertaining to the SCP. Oh my god, I forgot about fucking Nick serve. Password accepted. <laughs> you are now recognized. Slush join. Hashtag Dado. Is this a real fucking... Is this a real uh, IRC you can join? Almost that certainly like fun. not. <laughs> I'm sure someone made it after this. Uh, what? Who do you want to be in this? Dado or Multizig? I'll be Multizig. You are your premier Dado. Okay. Dado laundryintan.net slash chat. Topic. Sorry, caps key broke. Topic set by Dado <laughs> on Friday, June 01, 2018. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello, yes, this is Dado. Oh, you're the guy that does the research chemicals, right? You there? I do fine pharmaceutical, and yes, sorry, Dado type slow. Cool, cool. Uh, so look, I need something special. I am do very special for all clients. Awesome. I need something that will keep my energy up. Me and the boys are going to Vegas. <laughs> We're going to paint the town red. Energy? Oh, you know, like, five-hour energy or maybe something stronger? LOL. This is like to catch a predator chat logs. LOL. Because we <laughs> want to party. I mean, like, out of this world. I like parties too, but not wanting to poop in your party. You want energy pill for a red town outer space party, yes? Yeah, you know, coke or speed or uppers or something, winky face. Just something really far out there. What do you think that though is? Huh? That though is not party supply store. <laughs> what are you talking about? My boy Malice AF said you're the best there is. That though is fine peripharmaceutical. Medicine for hair grow and also medicine for what make people old and horny. Not fine pararecreational. Okay, fine man, sorry. That though energy pill, not a fun time toy for your space party. That though energy pill, serious business. Dude, okay, sorry I asked. Wait, that though can still help. What you need, I can get you. It's not pharmaceutical though. Okay, what is it? That though juice energy drink. LOL, dude, what the fuck? Are you serious right now, bro? What are you doing, stepdado? Hello? <laughs> I killed him. Oh no. <laughs> what the fuck, stepdad? <laughs> you need to you need to do a stepdad. You want energy, I give you Don't the say it. Please, no. There is. Dado has been one to break out of market for energy drink. Expand Dado brand. <laughs> energy drink. Oh, like Red Bull? Yes, Dado juice best energy drink. Three flavors. You have energy for days. All natural energy. No red cows, no wings. You're serious. I sent to you free. I, I have Amazon. <laughs> I fucking love this character. I sent to you free. I have Amazon Prime. If you know like that, though, juice, then I refund you. Dude, cool. Well, if it works, that is. Because we want to burn this mother down. Yes, and you will like. There will be much rad in burning. <laughs> oh, rad like radiation. <laughs> oh, no. I guess Malafayef was right. You're cool. Yes, Dado help families, and Dado help you too, to manning the egg. Dado is the cleverest thinker. Sweet, thanks. <laughs> one customer review, one star! <laughs> Foundation web crawlers discovered the existence of an Amazon item that fit the description of the SCP. This led to the mobilization of MTF Alpha 4 to the North Las Vegas Amazon Fulfillment Center. The operation led to the successful seizure and containment of 17 instances of the SCP, an interception of 112 more instances that were en route to potential victims. The item has since been removed by Amazon by the director of Name Redacted. A copy of the item listing being archived in the Foundation logs seen below. Please tell us what it says. 
Saddle Juiciest All Natural Energy, three flavors you would like about the product. Energy from All Natural Yes obeys laws of thermodynamics, contains vitamins, minerals, electrolytes, elements, atoms, does not contain red cow or sorry, hamster on keyboard. If you don't like that, was 30 day refund. That was fine, capitalist. Gluten free, not for human. Oh, it's tan free. Sorry. No. Not for human consumption. Product reviews are as follows. One store would not order again. Gave me tons of energy for my upper sept tentacle workout, but had a horrid aftertaste. Nuke flavor made me crash a million times harder than I ever have before. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend for non-Euclidean organisms. Response from Sella. Yes, this is Dado. I will issue food refund. I always want to satisfy happy customers. <laughs> Nice. Also, I didn't awesome. notice at the very top right, it says, yes, this is Dado Pharmaceutical, also fine laundry and tan. Do you work with Dado? I do, yes. He's my boss. <laughs> and he's a real stickler for the rules, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I love how this implies that someone on Amazon is a non-Euclidean organism. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. Oh. Yeah, realize. all right, that was good. I'm going to give that another 9 out of 10. I would rate these higher because, like, they're funny. I like them. But, like, as articles, they're, it's not really, you know, they're like a joke. And they're funny and they're decently well written. But it's not, like, anything that's wowing. So they get, like, the full three points of, like, my enjoyment. But they're only getting, like, fives and sixes in terms of, like, article itself. You know what I mean? I see. I see. I've comprehended That's how now. I feel about Dados. All right. Wow. So I'm going to put that one in the... Whoa! Oh, blasting oh, off! So... No! Don't know what you're doing! There's a mother with a pram crossing the road in front of us! No! Oh no! <laughs> Splat. Sorry, she's dead. Oh, oh no, I thought we were gonna do something. <laughs> no. <laughs> the pram was safe, don't worry, but she's Oh dead. thank god. I'm glad the baby's gonna be okay. <laughs> that kid's gonna grow up to be an anime protagonist. What's <laughs> the <laughs> <It's a> sound? <laughs> and his name. I'll find the people that killed my mom. And his name? Michael. No. Alright, let's get to article. That. We got we gotta get to New York before Michael's body decays and we lose all the shares. Item number SCP eight 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 dot dash EX. <gasps> and this one is called Tan and Laundry by Dado. By Storm Breath. So this was this was something they once thought to be anomalous that was proven to not be anomalous or not exist, right? Yes. Okay. And it's called Tan and Laundry by Dado by Storm Breath. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hi. I'll be right back. What? He's going to be right back? What's going on here? Don't cut this out, don't cut this out. I want to know what's going on here. I want to exist in this space. So, I'm actually quite glad that Darnell's had to take a step away, because I'm worried that we do not have enough content to fill out an hour today. So, I'm just going to talk for a while, and you're going to listen to me, okay? So, how have you been? Hmm? How have you been? <coughs> you been okay? Okay, how much, of that, how much of that picked up on the mic? None of it. Okay, thank God. Ugh. Why don't you tell some lies okay. about the, what that was to sort of fill out the space a bit? Uh, well, okay, so... Why did you have to out dive of out of the car? <laughs> when I you stepped, stepped out, out we're going 100 from... miles an hour. I, s- I know, I was clinging you had to, to crawl onto the roof? A bird. There was a bird that needed to speak to me, but it actually it just wanted to tell me that I was a loser and that it didn't like our podcast and it would dislike all our videos. You killed it, right? Yeah. Yeah, shot nice. it in the back of the head twice. Wow, at that speed, that's a good shot. I know. You like dead shots. That's why they call me squad. marksman. They call me marksman. <laughs> what are we? Some kind of suicide squad? <laughs> Skipper. Uh. <laughs> Dude, every time I do a Patrick Warburton voice, is not Skipper. Okay. <laughs> Skipper. Wait, who's not Skipper? always Skipper. Oh, you don't really know who Skipper is, Michael. That's okay. If you go to the description below, <laughs> there'll be a this link. Is with the fucking Michael big YouTuber face. pops in their ad, but it's just you promoting your web serial. <laughs> Let's did get you into post it. about it to web? Did you post about it to web fiction yet? Not yet. No, <laughs> I, I was did trying to get back it. to the content, but I guess you want to keep plugging. Yeah, right. The content. <laughs> Sorry. 
Item number SCP 888 EX. Object class explained. Special containment procedures. No answer. Description SCP is a building located in blank Florida, but I believe that's a link to that. Fat 477. You can click no. it. No. Spoilers. Yeah, it's way too Spoilers. far in the future. SCP 888 EX is owned by known person of interest and parapharmacologist Dead Addo. An oh, there's a footnote here. Dado. Wanted by the Foundation for alleged involvement in the creation of several parapharmaceutical products. And operated as a dual laundry and tanning service. And the SCP is currently branded as Laundry and Tan by Dado. As far as can be determined, the SCP has no anomalous features, phenomena, or qualities. Can't counter readings of the SCP have returned human level readings entirely consistent with the surrounding area. And field investigation has revealed no anomalies to be present. Additionally, no equipment that would be of the use in the production and distribution of power of pharmaceuticals has been located anywhere within the SCP, indicating that Adido does not use the SCP for either purpose. Since the SCP is believed to be wholly non-anomalous and attempts to use it to apprehend Dado were unsuccessful, it is not within the purview of this SCP Foundation Charter. Containment of so the it's SCP... just a building, right? Well, it's his business. Oh, his whole it... business? At... It's not just the building it's it was his... in? It's the laundry and time. I thought it said... Dado. Yeah, it's the building. Yeah, it's the laundry building. Yes, okay. And Tam. And Containment Tam. of the SCP would represent a violation of several clauses between the Foundation and Unusual Incidents Unit within the SUSO Act, the Southern United States Extra Normal Organizational Cooperation Treaty. Therefore, That's something the... important I need to know about. Uh, no, I've never heard of it before. Wait, Therefore, wait, hold yes. on, Tan. Tan, Hi. What? if you take off the EOCT, it's sus. Haha, <laughs> get it? Like yeah, that you... popular game Among Us? What's that? You know, the one we made two videos about. You won't find them. <laughs> what are you talking about? What the hell's what? Among Us? Um, uh, uh, among, among Us? Among My us? name is Humongous. You come to, this is Earth 214. This doesn't exist in this realm. Sorry, my bad. Continue. Therefore, SCP-888-EX has been allowed to resume prior business operations. Addendum A. The SCP was discovered during Extra Normal Event 82901, in which multiple billboards in the southern Florida region were anomalously altered to display an advertisement for the SCP. The following text was discovered on each billboard, written over any pre-existing advertisement. Why don't you tell us what it says? Hello, this is Dado. Are you in need of cleaner clothes or dirtier skin? Fear not, for laundry and tan by Dado. On the actual billboards, the colors of the preceding text anomalously cycle. That's all like the RuneScape rainbow text. <laughs> Can do for all. GF. <laughs> Can do all. Both conveniently located in redacted. Censorship is a result of a RISA edit. Original billboards did not censor the location. Trust Dado. Would you trust Dado? Would you want him to tan and laundry you? I would literally trust Dado with my life. The way, if Dado wanted to be on this podcast, I would shoot you in the back of the head twice and put him on. I say twice, wow. Uh, notably, the closest anomalously altered billboard was located approximately 50 kilometers... Kilo- 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 it's happening again. Kilometers. Kil- kilometers away from Dado Land, Florida, USA. USA? USA? Oh well, my previous... god, what the fuck happened to you? Are you okay? I'm Did you drink the fucking Dado energy drink? Did USA? you drink it, Dan? <laughs> Did you drink the energy drink, I told drink, you, bro? this is Earth 214, and the countries are different here. <laughs> are they, or are you just dumb USA. the head? <laughs> United States of Espanol. <laughs> Finally, viva la revolucion. Well, Does that mean statement... New York's actually Nueva York? Y- y- yes. While previous statements by De- Addo had indicated that the SCP existed, this was the <laughs> first indication... Why do you keep doing that when you say Dado? What? You, you keep saying De- a Dado. No, no. This is the first indication of the SCP's location. <laughs> Due to the prior in- interaction with the Addo, <laughs> the SCP was in the site. An SCP designation as proper investigation began. However, it was determined that despite the anomalous method of the SCP's advertising, the SCP itself was mundane. Addendum B. The following is a transcription of the body camera of a Foundation agent attempting to investigate the SCP, conducted before the reclassification of the SCP is explained. Who would you like to be? I would like to be the receptionist. I'll be Agent Min. Agent Min activates his hidden body camera and just sits before exiting his vehicle. (gasps) 
You should never get out your car. And entering the SCP, he is greeted at the front desk by a receptionist, a teenage male. Hello, welcome to Laundry and Tan by Datto. Are you here for the laundry or the tan? Actually, I'm from City Hall. I was hoping to speak with the owner. Oh, who that is? Our records say that the owner goes by the name of Datto. The name of the establishment is Laundry and Tan by Datto. Oh, that makes sense. There is a short. There's a short pause. Um, I still need to speak with him. Can't help you. Can I speak to your manager? <sighs> I guess. <laughs> Receptionist turns around and yells into the back room of the SCP. Hey, Eric! The manager of the SCP exits the back room in response. What's this about? This guy. Hello, I'm from City Hall. I'm trying to get in contact with the owner of this establishment. Dado? Oh, sure. I can help you. Do you want to take this to my office? That's fine. The manager of the SCP leads Agent Min into the back of the SCP and into his office, offering Agent Min a seat. So, the truth is that, uh, I've never actually met Dado. Never? No, not once. I have his phone number, but I've never actually met the man. How were you hired? I saw an ad in the paper a year back looking for a manager. It said to send in a resume, so I did. A couple days later, I got a call saying I was hired and was told to head over here. Once I got here, I had a whole list of tasks and a lot of cash. So you just started working for Dado without ever meeting him? Yeah. He files all the paperwork and everything fine. I've just never seen him. The job pays well enough and there's nothing illegal going on, so... Is it for assumption? Do you say that you're responsible for running this, then? I'd really say so. I've done all the hiring and filing. Dado is mostly hands-off. I see. You do have a way to contact Dado, correct? Well, I have his number. I can give you that. The manager of the SCP writes a phone number down and gives it to Agent Min. Thank you. While I'm here, I'd like to ask you about an advertising incident that occurred for this establishment. We've never advertised. Agent Min produces photos of the billboards modified during Extra Normal Event 82901 and places them on the table between himself and a manager of SCP-888-EX. <laughs> when did this happen? Last week. Uh, okay, so, a couple of weeks ago I mentioned the data that business was slumping a little. He got all worried and said that he'd help me out, set up some advertising for us here. So I guess this is the result of that. You've never seen these before? Never, and oh god, these are awful! They don't even have our number or address on them! How are people supposed to find us? And, oh god, dirtier skin? Dirtier skin? So I imagine that you've not had an increase in business since then. Well, now that you mention it, I think the FBI is monitoring us now. It started a week ago. There's all these unmarked vans in the parking lot now. I'm pretty sure I saw some point a Geiger counter at me the other day. These guys will show up at the same time, walk in together, and then not talk to each other at all while they're here. The whole time walking around looking everywhere. All of these actions correspond to Foundation attempts to investigate the SCP. Ah, uh, well, well <laughs> Dado is wanted for involvement in some illegal activities. Oh, he actually mentioned something like that once. He said he made magic drugs that were unlike anything he could get in the world. Really? Yeah, I asked him if he could make some magic stuff for here. Well, what did he say? He said, Dado not good. Dado cannot do all. Dado is not in field of a normal laundry. Whatever that's supposed to mean. That's something. Yeah, something all right. I have to say, your employer seems quite odd. Did you ever explain why he operates like this, with all the no contact? Why does he run this? I actually asked him why he was interested in this place. He said he was a true capitalist, and this was a way to expand business opportunity. And you? Why do you work here? As well, in, in this economy, I can't afford to be picky. Well, thank you. This has been helpful. Agent Min leaves the SCP and deactivates his body camera. End lock. The phone number provided has been verified as accurate, and as the method by which the manager of the SCP contacts Addo, but all attempts at communication or tracing the number have been unsuccessful. Imagine being so close to having Dado's phone number, but he won't answer your call. 
This is so sad. This is like that time I texted anyone I've ever had romantic interest in. Alright, so I'm gonna give this one an upvote. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10. It was pretty funny. Oh! I like this one. Wow. It's also, I like that, like, he does all these miracles with his pills, but he can't do it with laundry because he's a parapharmacologist or whatever. Of course. Parapharmaceutical. Not, that'd be insane. Yeah, it would be insane. I, I get it. You know, you're asking too much from him at that point. Of course. Like, all right, so we have one more article today, I believe. Yeah, and this one's a tale, in fact. Oh, a tale. So you lied when you said there were four SCPs. I did. Yeah, I'm always lying. I'm like Loki. Right. From the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Loki? You're like Loki. <laughs> <laughs> Catch Tandy on Disney Plus. <laughs> okay, dude. Actually, hold on. I need to go on a mini rant. Can I go on a mini rant because it's the podcast? Lay on me. Go okay. on. This is what they're here for. So, Maybe. I've been using my friend's Disney Plus, And honestly, mm. Disney Plus is like... Like, I'm sure Netflix has more shows, but like... In terms of movies and shows people actually care about, Disney Plus is way better. I, I've never been a superhero guy, but it has all the fucking Marvel things, including I can finally see Guardians of the Galaxy. It's got fucking Phil of the Future. It's got even Stevens. It's got Sweet Life. It's got literally every actual thing people care about, like Recess, the cartoon. And it has every fucking shark documentary I could ever want, which I, I love shark documentaries. It's been well, like the I best can. thing ever. The, they're just fun. They're like the perfect mix of like... They're just easy, like, junk TV to put on while you're, like, grinding in a JRPG. But then when you do pay attention, you get to look at fucking sharks being sharks. It's so cool. Cool. Well, I was asking what you like about sharks, though. What do you like about them? Everything. They're just big. You know, they have big bite. They're strong. They're cute. Uh, and they're pretty well... For the most part, they don't really bother humans unless you cause problems. But... I was actually watching one the other day, right, called Man vs. Shark, because I don't know if you know this, but to be safe in shark research, usually they lower down divers in a cage and then attract sharks and study them. But yeah. th you can't really get an accurate um, read on shark behavior from that because their behavior is automatically changed by the fact that they're going around a cage of humans. You really have to do get to the sharks to do that. So this guy for the last 40 years has been working on, like, shark-proof fucking suits. And it started simple with, like, literally chain mail that would work on only smaller sharks. And he made, like, this fucking metal battle suit that can resist even bites from tiger sharks. It was insane. It looks so... It looks like something out of a fucking superhero movie. It's so cool. <laughs> that lets them, like, study the sharks in person. Very, very cool. I liked it a lot. Right, so we... we anyway, sorry. We had a tail. Hmm? Yeah, someone... One thing of note, I was talking about my love of sharks in Discord, right? Okay. And everyone started fucking posting spoiler tag stuff, so I assume there's some shark-related SCP they might want us to read. I didn't click it to be safe, but you might want to look into that. Yeah, but, well, maybe next episode we might find out what's going on there. Sure, but for now, tail. There was a tail you said we have to read. Yes, and here it is. It's called Your Very Last SCP. Aww. This is, the final, is this, this is the related ending. to your your last first day with Marion? No, this is just the ending of the SCP, sir. This is the last one. Really? Yes. Yeah, Does that mean we don't have to anymore. do this podcast anymore? This is the last one. We're, we're, we're done after this. We can really? go back to our shark podcast. Finally. I've been waiting so long for this day. Just kidding! You're here forever! <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's get into it. Right, this is kind of a hard one to like read because a lot of it's like computer. Uh, oh, just the yeah. beginning, I guess. Connecting to int scp five 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 six. Retrieving host name. Checking ident. Beep boop beep boop. International SCP file network secure. Contain. The fuck protect. is that a picture of? Like an old man, Kirby, the smiling SCP logo. <laughs> is that what it is? Message of the day. Only use capital letters for proper nouns at the beginning of every sentence. Providing login credentials. Dot, dot, dot. Credentials verified. Press any key to proceed. It's, why don't you be Any key is broken. <laughs> Terminal synchronized. Command? Hello, yes. Hello, yes is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program, or batch file. I know that. I know that is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program, or batch file. 
Okay, I also am knowing that. I need some help. Halep, sorry. Okay, I am also am knowing that. I need some halep is not recognized as internal or external command. Operable program or batch file. I, I think it's funny that SCP can create, like, hyper, like, uh, competent, like, AI, but they can't make a fucking command system that works better than, like, 80s fucking text adventures. <laughs> help. Initializing help console. Pardon spelling. Pardon spelling is not recognized as an internal or external command. I actually forgot to say who wrote this. It's the Great Hippo. He's a very good writer. Operable program or batch file. The person who wrote this, I forgot to mention, is called the Great Hippo. Great Hippo. I like that name. Great Hippo, you have a good name. Help dot, dot, console dot. initialized. <laughs> Hello, chum. I'm Skippy, your automated SCP helper. How may I be of assistance? Yes, hello, Skippy. I am Dado. Dot, dot, dot. I would like to make some SCPs. I have many ideas. Dot, dot, dot. Idea number first. Statue concrete covered in poop. Normal, yes. But actually, no. There is a twist. How are you doing that? Doing what? You do not like the idea? That's fine. I have others. Dot dot dot. Idea number second. Giant talking lizard. Also normal, yes, but actually no! There is a twist! I can see that you're exploiting a backdoor in this server via an ordinary telnet client, but the raw text is coming through as comic sans. How is that even possible? Oh yes, it's very complex hacking thing. That you would understand. I'm using Unicorn. That is hacking term. Dot dot dot. I'm examining your connection right now. Your network card appears to be a mashed potato. <laughs> it's, it's hash table. Don't worry, it's secure. And it's so... Get it? Cause, okay, so a hash table is like an actual, like, like internet thing. <laughs> Fuck it. It's like a hash brown because it's a potato. <laughs> it's a good pun. <laughs> dot dot dot. Enough computer talk. Have more ideas. Idea third. The doctor who cures people. Very normal. Nothing strange about that, yes? Let me guess. There's a twist. No, see? That is the twist. That there is no twist. Very meta. That's is this like making fun of popular SCPs or something? Yeah, it was the statue of the lizard. And, the... and who's, who's the doctor that cures people? We haven't got to him yet. Maybe one well. day. Are you writing these down? Oh yes, I most certainly am, chum. Ooh. Good, not really into writing. More of an idea person. Everyone who thinks they can write SCPs be like... <laughs> How many people do you see every day on the internet who are like, I could write an SCP and they have like an idea and they never write it. Mm. They don't know how to like actually write, they just come up with an idea. Looks at you, viewer. <laughs> That's so many people, man. People think that all you need is an idea, but if you can't actually deliver the idea... Anyway, sorry, rant over. Maybe we can be partners. I come up with ideas, you write them. <laughs> Isn't that just what Meriwether does? <laughs> he, like, he like writes the comic and then someone else does the art. You write well, them. It's how, good, yes? That's how most comic writers do it. <laughs> we'll even credit you in author post. Yeah, that is how, how most comic writers do it. How extremely considerate of you, blood, bro, body. Ooh. This is no longer the tale. This is just me talking to you. I will credit you in my author posts. I'll come up with the ideas and you write the SCPs for me, Dan. This is foot's up. This is foot's up. You are very supportive. It's so rare to find supportive people these days. So why is this automated helper being super passive aggressive? Well, well, it has changed if you look up. Something has happened. Has? Oh, it's like eyes changed. What is oh, that he again? hacked it. He hacked it. It's like red. <laughs> and its mouth is... Oh, God. Uh, I think you and I will make many good SCPs together. Make lots of profits. All the upvotes. I have one more idea for you. My best one yet. I've been hiding it. Worried others may steal. But you? That don't trust you. Would you like to hear it now, buddy? I would absolutely love to hear it, pal. Ooh. <laughs> Mouth is bigger. <laughs> okay, idea fourth. There is worldwide conspiracy of scientists that contain and research objects very spooky. 
perfectly 200% normal. Yes, nothing strange, nothing unusual, nothing weird going on. But actually, no. <coughs> there is a twist! Are you ready for this, partner? Here it comes. None of it is real! It is just a bunch of horror writers! <coughs> You are excited about this, that I can tell. How long do you think it will take for you to write? Maybe an hour? Hello? Do you smell burning? Oof. From 057 to all Foundation personnel. Subject, effective immediately. All personnel, including D-Class and non-hostile SCPs, are to be discharged. Control over Foundation sites is to be handled via AIAD systems. Any remaining projects, documents, and research initiatives are now terminated. The Veil Protocol is null and void. SCP-01 has occurred. To every last one of you, I say this. It has been an honour. Spend what little time you have left well. And the attachment opens. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one was great because this was like a very high-effort shitpost. Um, Fucking picture! So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this one an 11.5 out of 10. That was really good. That was a really high effort shit post. They put a lot of work into it. The Great Hippo um, is a really good writer, and hopefully we can get to some more of their stuff soon. They have expressed yeah. interest in being. I feel bad so that maybe. like your first, f they're pro I, I I believe they're a good great writer, but I feel bad the first work of theirs you showed me was like their advanced shit post. And of it course, Elegy fucking fish truck is edited. Why is this name everywhere, Tan? I think they do like tagging, maybe. Oh, that that would explain. How do they? How are they on every article we're on? Is oh, it just hold on! The ones I found a giant sheet of old SCPs I can put in the engine to go mega fast. Right, but Tan, I have bad news. Hmm. Uh, we traveled so fast, we looped the world too many times, and it's past Friday. GameStop stock isn't worth anything anymore. Don't worry, I fought for this. Have you ever seen Superman Two? Um, no. I don't think it's in that one, actually. It's the one after that, Superman 3. And, well, he flies the one where backwards he goes backwards around, around the world? Yes. So, <laughs> so fast that it turns back time. So, let me do a U-turn! I brought the entire SCP database on your phone, and now I'm feeding your phone into the engine. Let's go. Ten. Oh god, Tan, you went too far. Tan, we're in prehistoric <laughs> times and we're out of gas. You turn around. I'm a raptor now. <gasps> Directed by David Cage. <laughs> Fucking, I bet Wendigo could make like a really great art of raptor Tan Honey too. Or not Wendigo, sorry, Dr. Whitney. When I get the names mixed up. One of the artists I'm on sure show, you Dr. could Whitney. all do it. You could all do so yeah. well. If you only did right. as I asked. Thank you <laughs> for for watching. We now uh, have no. some comments well, to read. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I was going to say, yay, 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 yay. Uh, so I have bad news, Tan. You, you don't? Uh, I don't think we're relevant anymore. What do you mean? We only have 10 comments on our video. The, Usually we have like the almost best double that by now. Yeah, well, I guess I have time to read all of them, because Hunter Spatafore doesn't comment anymore, and they're all pretty short, so I can probably read them all. Alright, so first up, from Comedy Man Kelp, something that caught my attention about 2256, it says they evolved their anomalous properties to hide from predators, which begs the question, if they were the largest species to have ever lived, what the fuck was preying on them? Wait, I think I know what it was. It's the 6th SCP Infinity Stone. The identity of the 6th SCP in Infinity Stone is obvious. The most powerful anomaly in the known universe. The top priority of the O5 Council. One of the longest running bits on this, this very podcast. The only being capable of defeating 3125. I am referring, of course, to the bird that is going to eat the entire world. Of course. Funny. I thought Tan would join me in clapping. Sorry. Oh, I didn't hear you clapping. Um, didn't... Oh. <laughs> you just sort of Comedy Man Kelp. <laughs> Comedy Man Kelp, you have won my Kids' Choice Award. Hell yes. Did what it. do you have to say to that, Tan? He got the Nickelodeon splat. 
All right, so that's so here's what I, each almost all of these have a suggestion for what the sixth SCP Infinity Stone is. By the when we read them all, let's decide which one's the real sixth SCP Infinity Stone. Yeah. Sure. All right, so right now that that's the first one we've read, but that's going to be pretty tough to beat. Dino Tales writes, "Hey, blank, 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 and Darnell." One, my SCP recommendations are SCP-3089, that old-time religion, SCP-3388, Cactuthulu, and SCP-3143, Murphy Lion, the foundation always rings twice. My theme recommendation is the Three Moons Initiative. Three, I think the best SCP to be the sixth stone should be SCP-000. Four, I thought that I was being attacked by an anti-memetic anomaly. Thankfully, I remembered where I, where I hid the bodies. Five, I loved the anti-memetic story arc. Shame we're all going to forget it later. What are you talking about? All right. Next wait, is wait, Brandon wait, wait. Hamilton. Which arc? What? I don't know. I, I think this guy's crazy. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what he's talking about. We'll get to that yeah. in a later I don't even episode, think, I think probably. I don't even think they have an anti-memetics division in the Foundation, right? That would be cool they if someone wrote about that. Yeah, that would be really... Uh, that's a good idea. Maybe you should jump on that. Jump on what? Oh, I don't... What was I talking about? Um, right, so yeah. the next comment is from Brandon Hamilton, who I believe is Hamilton on the server, who we need to get for, on an episode one of these days, because he is very funny, um, who writes, The Poghoney lore is too dangerous to continue along with alone. I think this calls for a guest appearance on the channel. Well, what do you know? I didn't even read that ahead of time, and it worked out. Wow. What do you say, Tan? Say Tan. In time or next next week? In time. In time, In time. sounds a lot like never. Goodbye, Dolores. <laughs> no. Banker Paul. Tanhony, you've robbed Darnell of something. I'll come back to this later. Oh, don't worry. What did you rob me of? It's nothing. Smile. Boris WW says, as far as I know, Quantum is trying to break into professional writing. That is great for Quantum. Uh, I hope you guys all support them because they make good Quantum stuff. Quantum would and do very I'll... well. Yeah. I know someone else is trying to break into professional writing who sure could use some reviews on Royal Road. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, sure. Give me what? some. <laughs> what? I'm trying to help you. What, what do you mean, Jesus? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry for trying to be your friend, I guess. <laughs> sorry, what the fuck? Bad, bad. <laughs> what the hell? I'm pissed about that. All right. Dead to me. Quaker button those 128 says colorless green was at plus 555 and then I upvoted it and it was at plus 556 and I felt bad. It was the anti-memetic number but I ruined it, sad face. The pharmacist getting crushed by a cabinet while the evil starfish got attacks reminds me of that guy who died during the Pompeii eruption because a big rock fell on him. Goals. Shythalia says, I mainly said that random fun fact for Darnell. I knew you'd already know about that, Tanhony. Eh. I don't even remember what it was. I mean, either. Twisted GD says, Understanding how anti memetics work is stranding my mental. What the fuck is anti memetics? Um, I, I think, well, maybe because, like, I was, I was, like, guessing on a podcast. Maybe they're talking about, like, something that they've done over on their channel. Okay, so remember. Remember that part where I said that every comment had a, an SCP Infinity Stone and then only two of them did? Yeah, so I guess it's between <laughs> two. I can't believe uh, you a failed regular, this, viewers. A regular 42 the last says... Time. As <laughs> a regular 42 says, As for why other creatures have an evolved anti-memetic camouflage, given the random nature of mutations, it makes some sense that a species may accidentally trigger an anomalous effect, which would then be selected for. Whatever glitch they are exploiting may just be very unlikely to occur naturally. Or there could be entire ecosystems we cannot perceive. Given what else I've read from Quantum, I think the latter is more what he was going for. Maybe, but even then, if once it becomes something biological and scientific that can be inherited, isn't it no longer anomalous, because anomalous just describes things that can't be scientifically explained? Well, if it, if it can be explained, if it goes against, like, humanity's perception of reality, Laws. that's bad stuff. Yeah, but what if anti-memetics are kind of like how we can only see certain covers, colors because of our, like... Who told you to about those colors? Like, what, if it's, what if it's just, like, something that we as a species can't do and we're just deeming it anomalous? Take him. No. 
And then Boris WW replied saying, I think it's highly implied that there are plenty of anti-memetic things, we just by definition can't know about them, since any group of scientists that developed the tech for discovering them wipes itself out of existence before they can document much. Fair enough. Of course. All right. Well, that is this. I'm not fucking plugging Aetheral Space. I'm tired of Tanhony abusing me. I, all I do is promote his series, try to help you him. You just plugged it. You already plugged like it. That. You just plugged it already. Well, I, I no longer well, need not you. not anymore, dickhead. Hey, hold on. Whoa! 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 What? That's crazy! What? You can't call me that! On my birthday? It's not your birthday. Your birthday's like October. What day? You don't even know. Um, it could be my I don't remember today. exactly. The 25th? <laughs> no. No, I think it was. Not the even 25th. close. Well, yeah, I think I know better. <laughs> 12th. I sorry. can't believe. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course it is. You do know. I'm sorry for shouting at you. I forgive you. I don't forgive you. You're awful. I forgive you. I forgive you. You can go I'm, back to I'm breaking up with you as now. friends. We, we used to be friends. I'm breaking up with you in friendship. Wow. Wow. Real mature. Real mature. In front of viewers? In front of the viewers? You're going to do in this? In front of the viewers. You have to make it up to me, but not this episode. Baby. I'm going to cover their ears. Mom I'm going to find myself a podcast co-host that, trouts, that, that treats me real good. I'll tell you that. We'll find one. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> All right. So, what's got? our question? What's our question for this week? Who's in the right here? <laughs> Are you Team Tanny <laughs> or Team Darnell? <laughs> like fucking Twilight. <laughs> Got a thing. Civil yeah. War. Right in the comments. Hashtag Team Tanny or I hashtag want an Team essay Darnell. On your choice. <laughs> It's going to be like King Kong versus Godzilla, and then at the end of the movie, we team up against the third guest star, and we realize our friendship by bullying them on the podcast. You need to save Cactus. (laughs) Why did you say that name? (laughs) I haven't heard that name in ten years. All right. Well, thank you so much for listening, everyone. Absolutely. And this episode is going to be named... This this episode is going to be named Discovering SCP Civil War, and hopefully we'll get more (laughs) views because of it. <laughs> well, we don't have to call it Discovering SCP Civil War. I can just call it Avengers Civil what? War. I'll just call it Captain America yeah. Free Civil War. Yeah, there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. We did it. We did it. I'm clapping. I'm so happy. Woo! Woo! All right, bye guys. <laughs> bye.